Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. We're back with a new Mythic Rank Best of One Standard deck. Phyrexia all will be one, bringing new Praetors into the game. And we have the Vindicator within Mono White, Milky Smooth. Oh my gosh. We took this deck from 91% Mythic all the way into the top 1400. We have a 66% win rate. In today's video, we're going to break down the deck list, talk about the strategies and synergies held within, demonstrate this within our Mythic Rank gameplay footage to get the best decks and players in the world right now, and then we'll wrap up with our final thoughts, deck review, and of course our pack opening, as well as looking at some of those deck stats a little bit more in depth. Alrighty then, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help support myself as a creator and future content. You can also become a YouTube member for access to our exclusive Sunday members-only stream. Let's take a look at the new deck. Here we are with the Mythic Rank number one deck, which actually may not be true. Now, this is a build that I used to reach Mythic Rank number one with last season. However, we do have some uh, changes to the build, and uh, I do think that it is for the better. Uh, it's been working really, really nicely, and it gives the deck a lot more of a mid-range and late-game punch as well as completely locking out some specific opponents, depending on their uh, removal that they have access to. First things first, the majority of the meta is mono red. Two out of three games, mono red. So life gain, you're already ahead, right? You're going to be winning a lot of games by default just because they burn themselves out. All right, so uh, maybe first we'll talk about the new Phyrexian Vindicator, which is also phenomenal against mono red because the removal that they have is not gonna work it's damage based removal so uh get out of here you play one of these against mono red game over right and now that is really good in a meta that's two-thirds mono red a 5-5 five five with flying crazy base stats for four if damage would be dealt to the phyrexian vindicator prevent that damage well uh and then when damage is prevented this way the vindicator will deal that much damage to any target so they're gonna like do something silly that they shouldn't do you block uh or absorb the damage their attacker dies because it's a five five and mono red doesn't have anything that strong and then you'll deal five damage uh to another one of their creatures or themselves you just hit their health total uh which is going to be great as well so you know there's just really no way for them to overcome this unless you're already at one life and they've gone so wide that you can't do anything right uh, but that's unlikely because, like I said, we have so much life gain in the deck, and it's all creature-based. Uh, so we're kind of clogging up the field so their attackers don't get to just have free reign over the battlefield uh, while simultaneously just gaining more and more life, okay? So if you've seen the deck before this, that's what's changed. There really wasn't a lot of new uh, white cards to add to the build. You know, Elish, Norn, maybe, but probably not. Uh, maybe more of a sideboard card, potentially. So it's the same strategy that we know and love. It's a turn one Lunark Veteran for one. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Disturbed for two from the grave. And then whenever a creature leaves the battlefield under your control, you're going to gain one life, which is pretty cool. So uh, entering and exiting the battlefield on all of our creatures now gaining us life. Every time we do gain life, we're going to put a plus one, plus one counter on Voice of the Blessed for two. It's a two, two. And of course, whenever we gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. When it has four counters, it's going to gain Flying and Vigilance. And when it has 10 counters, it will gain Indestructible, which is phenomenal. We have an Inspiring Overseer for three mana. It's a 2-1 with Flying. And when it enters the battlefield, you'll draw one card and gain one life. Kyla's Command, three mana, Sorcery, choose two, creating a 2-2. Two -two, putting a plus one, plus one counter on creature you control. It gains double strike until the end of turn. Searching your library for a basic planes, revealing it, putting it to your hand, then shuffling. Gaining two life and then scrying two. So uh, we have the life gain here. We can also make creatures, which will trigger the veteran, not to mention directly applying the plus one, plus one counter to the voice and giving it double strike. We have the Archangel of Wrath for four to three, four. Kicker for a red and black source with flying and lifelink. So this can uh, gain life organically. When Archangel of Wrath enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, it deals two damage to any target. And then when the Angel enters the battlefield, if it was kicked twice, it will deal two damage to any other target, uh, which is phenomenal. So, you know, potentially four life gain, two separate triggers of it as well uh, for the voice and four damage, which is really cool as well. Not to mention it's a three, four with flying and lifelink. 
The Wandering Emperor for four mana with flash, three starting loyalty, can activate her loyalty abilities at instant speed on the turn she's entered. Plus one, put a plus one, plus one counter and target creature you control gets first strike until the end of turn. Minus two, creating a two, two with life, uh, sorry, vigilance, HGG, settle, too, too fast. Uh, minus two, exile, tapped target creature. Now you're going too slow, bro. You gain two life. <laughs> so there's a life gain that we're looking for within the Wandering Emperor, also doubling down his control. We have the Steel Seraph for six, but we like to cast it for three uh, via that prototype as a three, three. It's a creature with flying. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gains your choice of flying, vigilance, or lifelink until the end of turn. Uh, if you cast it for six, it's going to be a 5-4, which is fine. Uh, we love vigilance because then the emperor can't exile our stuff. We love lifelink as well. Uh, and then you can push things up in the air for extra damage via flying, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, vigilance on the Vindicator is phenomenal. I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, a couple of other things in the deck here. We have a hopeful initiate or two. For one mana, it's a 1-2 with training. You pay three to remove two counters from creatures you control to destroy artifact or enchantment. And we have Font of Hope, a 2-2 two -two for two with flying and vigilance. Each other angel you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. For each angel you already control, we can also use it as a mana stone, tapping it to cast an angel spell. Right, and we do have the Overseer. We do have the Steel Seraph as our angels, as well as the Angel of Wrath. And then finally, but certainly not least, Ao the Dawn Sky. Five mana, four, five, four, with flying vigilance. And when it dies, you get to either put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control, which could be good, or look at the top seven and then put mana value four or less total uh, into play, which is really, really good for us. Like uh, multiple Lunark veterans, Voice of the Blast, you can get a Steel Seraph. Heck, you can even play a Vindicator or a Wandering Emperor or a Wrath Angel through the AO's death ability. So that's really, really good. And the 5-4 flying with vigilance is phenomenal as well. The caves and the forge for the consistency to kick the Archangel. And then in Ganjo uh, as a little uh, bonus, if you will. So that's the deck, the latest version. Uh, like I said, we went from 91% mythic all the way into the top 1400, uh, just within like a play session, which is really cool. And I have no doubt that this deck could still perform and reach those top mythic ranks. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member for the extra goodies on Sunday. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, I should say. Because <laughs> we got the pack opening. Yes, the beloved pack opening chat. After this. All right, looking for better land. This is it. Um, keep, keep. Keep. Let's toss Ao. Or we keep Ao, toss the initiate. That gives us something to build into. Without any land. It's fine, don't worry about it. You immediately get a pain in your neck. When you see that island come into play, it's just like, oh, really? I'll just play slow, because we know counter spells are an option, so. here. Number one. Dodging make disappear. Now that's the important part. Just a thirst. Hopefully they tap, we can get AO in play. Them tossing a terror seems kind of weird. They must have multiples in hand. Here's a Jin.
there is a counter spell, I'd rather it hit the angel. Just double life gain trigger. I think I would trade with it. Right, it's their best card. You just bounce it. Yeah. As expected. The gen gets through here. But we can return. No attack. Interesting. Let's just play slow. This is going to get countered for sure. Well, still. There it is. Okay, no attacks. There's a terror for one. Cute. There's a second. Cute. What a great match. <laughs> Three cards in the end. Counter spell. This would maybe even kill the gin. What do you think? Take it? Try to take it anyways. Force the slip out. Yep. No life gain triggers. I'll take one here. Thirteen life, three cards in hand. Oh wow, you're tough. Yep, just block some damage, I guess. We get another life gain trigger. Six six vigilance, pretty good. A uh, second gin, are you kidding me? Wow. Alright, well this is a good blocker. I'll take that gin. We still have these two terrors to deal with. Ouch, down to 10. Big money on this AO trigger. Big money confirmed. Phantom out. Overseer out. Initiate out. Hit with our Archangel. Good game. I can't believe we got it. Oh, wow. Opponent goes first. We have some nice one drops. We have our new Phyrexian Vindicator four drop. play our um, veteran as the phantom so it escapes the graveyard trespasser.
take our draw. The Vindicator is nice in the curve because it allows us to play this Archangel uh, a little bit later and more readily have the access to uh, that mana for the kicker. Do they have more removal? They have cast three removal spells. No. Cool. No creatures for them to take, so we don't receive any damage. And then we're going to take that shadow because they're tapped out. Thank you. Hit for 5 to 15. Thank you. Sleeper's cute. Another shadow. Here's the Omega Strike. Woof. Not wasting any time. We like that. Going first, keeping seven. Pretty good hand. Could obviously be better, but... Seems fine. Seems pretty good. It, de it depends, you know, turn one removal. Soldier deck, we're gonna while out so hard against. This is Brutal Cathars. But look at this hand, like... Can we get a... If we could top deck a second Lunark Veteran, you know, that's where it gets better. No, we wish. In another life... They've also not played anything, which I find strange. So it's got to be like uh, resolute reinforcements. Don't attack with your Lunark. There it is. Double dropping next turn. Pushing one voice in the air is a 6-6. Six, six. Never mind. There's that brutal Cathar we're talking. Why would you take the... Weird. You do you. Yup. Maybe they have another. You know, they're not worried about it. I do not know. Hit for six, down to nine. Valiant Veteran, that's fine. We don't worry about that. Harbinger's pretty good, though. Double life gain trigger puts us... Uh, a required block on the Harbin. Oh, land. We hate the land, huh? We do smash. And uh, it's still going to be lethal. Beautiful. Going first. Alright. It's a little slow, but... It definitely picks up the pace once we get there. Something like this. Rafine's Tower. Esper Legends. Edenic. Most likely. Removal. Rude boy. Vigilance. Always. Well, not always, but most of the time. Get wrecked. Just unlimited removal. Also unlimited Steel Seraphs, apparently. we can grab Vigilance and Lifelink. Hit for 
three. Hmm, I don't play anything good like it to populate. Rude. Hey, that's a nice top deck. Take them down to 13. I'm pretty good. A secondary depopulate. Four more damage. Down to nine. Can we get a third depopulate, Daddy? Well, that's bad. Get in, deal some damage, get out. Sounds easy enough. Time for your spirit to move on. How will we overcome Kaya? She's so good. She's so good. Ouch. You're not safe from me. Oh, rude boy. Oh, it's a plus two ability. I think we fold to Kaya. Well, we fold to triple removal, double field wipe. Super planeswalker. Ay, ay, ay. Poppy, good. Game, I'm outy. See you later. Okay, so this is a nice looking hand. We have our ideal turn one within the Lunar. Ideal turn two within Voice. Drawing our third land. Throughout the journey for the inspiring overseer. That's not it. An alternative two drop. No attacks. We're chilling. Third land. Lay down arms. You're a legend. Get out of your hand. No land. We're we're awesome. Skills. A lot of light pain. Oh, it has flying. It has flying. It has flying. That's frustrating. More exile. Because why wouldn't they just have one? You know? Why not have two? Do you have more? No attacks, chillin'. Wow! Arena doesn't play. Holy. Wild. Literally wild. I have no words for that. It's very good. Literally unreal. It's 
pretty good. What a great match this is. Very cool. Okay, I'm just gonna show myself out. All right, opponent goes first. We're playing pretty darn slow. I'm gonna mulligan. And this isn't any better. I'll toss a command for now. Are you serious? The shuffler's fine. I don't want to hear about it. Bitter reunion. Bringing back the portal. Oh, classic. And they get it, you know, just perfectly. Tossing the grand unifier as well. That's pretty cool. Let's just start our draw. There you go. On five, we can double drop. I think we're already dead, though, if I'm being totally honest. There you go. Make that treasure. Let's take the gubo that makes the treasure. I'll pass turn. And I imagine they bring back the portal. Or the unifier because... Well, no, the portal first, and then the portal brings back the unifier. Let's be serious. Let's take the mutt. You're just under. You're done. Secondary fable. A third fable. This is going to be brutal, because we're going to have to sacrifice all three creatures. Unless we go like this. And then we'll get to maybe keep our voice. I'm fairly certain we get portaled here. Big draws. All right. Mutt discarding and drawing. They're really ripping through the deck. Three mana up plus two from the treasures. Just block one. We can't have any creatures die. Three cards in hand still. 20 life. There it is. Depopulate wipes the whole field. Fantastic.
take a draw, find a land, take another draw. Looking for a red source. Double kick our angel. Discarding two, drawing two more. We have to take one. Or else they copy each other. Here for four, down to 17. Here comes the portal. And the GG's. Maybe not. Kind of looked like it. There it is. They go with the unifier instead. Interesting. Wouldn't they be better to bring the portal out and then have the portal bring the grand unifier out next turn? Well, they grab, you know, the other recursion, so... Big hit. I think that's game. <laughs> Just scoop up? Like, what are they doing? This is how they beat people. They're just like, I do a good play, and then I just sit there. <laughs> All right, bro. I guess it doesn't matter, because they just portal us, and, you know, it just gets worse and worse and worse. We knew it before, but I don't like when I'm, uh, someone's just slow because they get the advantage. That kind of puts a bad feeling in my in my gut. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go first here. Keep seven, roll out dirty. Auto black, can't wait. You could tell by the sleeves and avatar. There's no question about it. <laughs> Hopefully, no cut down. We get away with potentially murder. Third land off the top. If not, it's not the end of the world. Please, no removal. Please, no removal. Yes! We're good. And the third land, chat. We're going to be a little greedy here. Slam for four. It converts down to 15. I think we're fairly well protected from anything. Oh, we lose our veteran. That's very good for them. Grab that land. Continue to slam in. You want to double block? Go ahead. I will, I'll take both your creatures. That's incredible value. Alright, so this is lethal. Gain two life, plus one counter. Doesn't matter. Woof. Good game. Going first with bad land, so let's toss it. Keeping our second hand here. 
keeping six. Oh, you're all so good. You are all just so good. I like to play this Vindicator as much as possible, just simply to showcase the new cards, you know? It's good. It can be dealt with. But it can also really ruin your opponent's life. Not so much against Mono Black. Bully for you. There's probably more, but what do you do? We're just drawing it out so it doesn't hit our Vindicator at a certain point, which is why it goes so well with the deck. Oh, we hate this. this. Is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch my <laughs> We'll just grab Off flying. Almost still should have grabbed life gain, I feel like. We need our fourth land. I know when I'm not wanted. Here comes turn four shoulder. Oh no, Soren. Pretty good card. No attacks. You deal with this annoyance. They could double block. So I'm just going to collect a counter for the voice. Push it up to four. They've got one, two, three cards in hand plus Sorn's draw engine. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Ah, uh, creatures? Fine. Blood for knowledge. As long as it's not removal, you know? Good. That's gas. Boys goes to three. Up to five five. We'll give it flying. Lethal in two, so just take your hits. We can block with whatever. We have twenty six life as well. Should be fine. Gain life here, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're a 6 6. Good game. It's beautiful. 14 03. That was a big jump. Wow. Nice win. Oakley Dokley. So the deck slaps. Vindicator can be removed however i think is worth its weight it's a four mana five five with flying it's so good and then you know if it gets removed then you're eating their removal up and there's a good chance that by the time you get to it they're already out of removal because you're playing voice of the blessed and steel seraph i mean they're coming for those cards there's no way anyone leaves those in play so, like, a lot of that removal does get eaten up before you play the Vindicator, which is cool. And then base stats, I'm okay with as well. Uh, the only thing that would be better if it was an Angel. We do have our deck stats for you here. Uh, like I said, 66% win rate, 33 and 17. Uh, from 97%, or sorry, 91% uh, all the way into the top 1400 here. Uh, which we can see we started right there at 91 and we ended the day at 14.03, uh, which is really cool and uh, having a lot of success with it. Um, playing against a lot of mono black and a lot of mono red, uh, a little bit of mono blue too. Poor mono blue just cannot handle our speed, you know? Uh, five and oh against mono blue, which is pretty cool. So, you know, uh, doing fairly well against the current meta uh, with the life gain and, um, some new additions to the deck, which were cool to play with as well. I like the Vindicator, and I think it's going to stay. 
I would love to hear your thoughts. Hit me up down below and uh, we'll talk about whether or not it should stay. Uh, of course, while you do that, we have our pack opening. Let's tear right into it. Don't waste any time. Is this an Elish Norn? This, an, oh, an alt R Elish Norn, you say? Fantastic. I, I couldn't agree more. I have no idea what this is, but I can tell you what. The art is very, very cool. It's so cool that my camera refuses to focus. There we go. Some of this art is kind of hard to decipher. And this is a Luca bound to ruin. I would have never known. Okay, here we go. Cards being backwards is always fantastic. Alt art swamp. We love it. Mesmerizing dose. Synthesizer. Dross Skull Bomb. The Dross Pits. Whisper of the Dross. Holy, triple Dross. Bladehold War Whip. Hex Gold Hailbird. Hex Gold Hover Wings. Alt Art Sinew Dancer. Oh, that's a good one. Screvel Defector Mine. Uh, Might, sorry. That's a keeper. Hello. Not quite a Rot Priest, but we'll take it. And a Holographic Lightbringer. Followed up by a Phyrexian Monitor to, to regenerate for one, for four mana. Nothing special there. But we do love our Might. Cannot complain. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day. Make sure to check out our other content. And uh, of course, if you have any suggestions how to improve this whole process, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, all of that. And just most importantly, have an absolute magical day. We'll see you soon in the next.